Learn to draw dogs. Art with Miss A. There are shelter dogs. There are show dogs. There are big dogs. And there are small dogs. Some have long hair. Some have no hair. There are roughly 360 different breeds of dogs, but they all originated from the gray wolf. Let's get started and draw our first dog today. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil and eraser, a black pen if you want to outline it in black, and some color crayons or pens or whatever you have to color your dog in. The first thing we always do is we're going to fold it in force by folding in half and then folding again, making a nice sharp crease and meeting up our corners. And we'll open it up and we're going to take our paper and we're going to do it portrait, meaning up and down. You will have the four sections, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Now get your pencil and we are going to start drawing our dog. Now we're going to draw the top of the dog's head. I like to practice the motion before I draw it and you're gonna be using that line to go on section one and two. Now we're gonna draw the sides of the dog's head, making sort of an S shape. And we're gonna do the other side going the opposite way. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the face using that same motion going the opposite direction. And there you go, we have the dog's face. And that's in section one and two, right down the middle of the paper. So now we're going to draw the dog's ears. And the ears almost look like a square with rounded corners. And you're just going to go up, down, side, and then down, and then kind of make a squiggle at the bottom to give the bottom of the ear a rounded shape. You're going to do exactly the same in section two, making sort of like a square with rounded corners and then a swoop at the bottom. And there are your two ears. Now, to make the ears look like they are in front of the head, you're going to draw a line from one ear to the next and erase that line underneath. Now, your ears actually look like they're sitting forward on the dog's face. All right, now that we have the dog's face done, we're going to work on the nose and the eyes. You're gonna make an oval at the bottom of the dog's face, and then we're gonna make the eyes right where the bottom of the ears match up to the uh, face of the dog. You do not want the eyes really high up on the forehead. You want them further down and you can make two ovals for that. And then we're going to do a line going down the middle of your uh, crease and then uh, two lines going up for a smile. All right. So now we're going to draw the body of our dog in section three and four. I make two dots on uh, section three and four where my lines are going to meet up. So there's going to be a dot on either side where the smile kind of uh, same parallel. And I'm going to bring that line all the way down to that dot that I made at the bottom of section four. And I'm going to make three bumps that are going to represent the dog's paws. You're going to do exactly the same on the other side and it'll be symmetrical because uh, this dog is going to have a symmetrical body and you're going to make three bumps again for the paw and then you bring the line up on either side and that will make both arms of your dog. So that same type of line that you made for the top of the head and the bottom of the head, you're going to use that same line to finish the body of your dog. So now we're going to make the back side of the dog coming off the left side of the dog on the third section. It's about an inch down from where the head is. I make a little dot 
and I'm going to now make a curved line coming out from uh, that dot and I'm going to finish it down at the bottom with another paw. All right, now we're gonna make the back side of the dog by going down about an inch from the face and making a curved line out and the three bumps. Do not go further than the two front paws because you want it to look like it's coming from the back. Then you can also make a, another foot by the right side in the fourth section, making a line and one bump. And that will show that you have a paw out there. Now we're making the tail and that's kind of a triangle shape. You can make a tall tail or a short tail, it's up to you. I'm gonna make just sort of a medium size one and I come out to a point and come back down. Now I'm showing my dog being happy, wagging its tail. So I'm making little movement lines to show the tail is wagging. I'm also making some nostrils and I'm also going to darken in the eyes and make the eyes a little bit more um, realistic and make some dots where the where the um, whiskers come out. And then I'm going to take my black marker and outline everything. And I'm also going to give my dog a background. Now you're going to put a horizon line, which is a line that shows where the land meets the sky. And that's what that line is. And I added trees and clouds and sun and I used color crayons to color it in. You do not need to color your dog brown or a real color dog. I chose blue for my dog and I just was using my creative side. You can pick whatever color you want. I think it turned out pretty cute. What do you think? All right, so now we have our second dog. This one is going to be a profile, meaning the side of the dog and fold the paper into force and we're gonna be working primarily, the face will be on section two. I first make a dot right in the middle of section two and that's my eyeball of my dog. Then I make that curved shape over that dot and that's the top of the head. And then on the right side, I come out with another curve making the, the snout of the dog's uh, Face, and then I put sort of an oval on top to make the nose and then I'm coloring that in with uh, my pencil and then I'm making a line for the mouth so now we're going to make the ear and that basically looks like a teardrop and it goes right from the eye and goes around back up to the eye and then I make the head meet up with the ear all right, so now we're gonna make the neck by bringing a line down, a slightly curved into section four where it meets up at the crease. And then you're gonna go right near the ear and you're gonna draw a line that goes through uh, section two and then one. And now you're looking at section three and you're going to make a curved line that's gonna go into the section three, which is the backside of your dog. So now that you've finished the back side, you're gonna now make the chest of your dog in section four. And I like to practice my line before I draw it. And you're gonna go about halfway down. All right, now we're gonna go back to section three and draw our tail coming off the back side of the dog. You can make a long tail or a short tail, same type of line that we used with the first dog and you're gonna draw a line coming up and back down. All right, so now we're gonna draw the front uh, arm of our dog, and I like to make little points where I'm gonna start, and it's kind of in the, the left side corner of your fourth section. You're gonna make a dot, and I also like to make a dot where I'm drawing the paw uh, to where it's going to end at the bottom of the page. That way I know that's where I'm headed. And when I draw my line, it's a lot easier to get that line in the right position. All right, so drawing the back hind leg of your dog, you're going to make a curved line uh, because the, the leg is pushed back and you want it to look like it's sitting. And that is a curved line. And after you draw that curved line, you're gonna make the paw of the dog, which is sort of a uh, curved little line. All right, so now we need to draw 
the other front leg, which is behind the leg that we drew originally, which you're going to make a parallel line coming down and another paw. Now we need to finish the body of our dog by making a line that connects it down. And then you're also going to make a second back paw that's poking out the side as well. All done, perfect. Now you're gonna take your black pen and you're gonna outline everything. So once you're finished outlining your dog in black, you are gonna take your eraser and erase any of those pencil lines that were uh, showing that you don't need. And at this point, you can decide if you want a color, watercolor, you can really color your dog any which way. But this way, I'm gonna show you my dog was collaged. And collaged is basically several different pieces of paper that are layered down to make a new picture. And the way I'm doing this is I took some newspapers and I tore them up into little pieces. I also had a piece of scratch turquoise paper and some light blue paper. And I decided these three uh, would be a great combination. And I used my glue stick by gluing uh, down the pieces to my dog and following the contour line, which is the outer line of the dog, and layering the paper inside not letting any piece of that paper coming out over that black edge. That way, when I'm completely done, it'll be in the shape of my dog and it'll have a very cool look to it with all different types of newspaper print and turquoise paper and light blue paper. And if the paper doesn't fit, it's kind of like a puzzle piece. It's very relaxing to glue little pieces down and you can keep adding glue, you can glue, I put a lot of glue down in a section and then I worked in sections by adding pieces of paper and until the whole entire dog was filled with uh, layers of different newspapers. You can use magazines, ask your parents if that's okay, or you can use um, newspaper, which I use, uh, scratch pieces of paper. You really could find uh, stuff and uh, Maybe some old wrappers would be kind of cool. Um, and basically you just take it and you glue pieces down until you fill the whole entire dog uh, in with the paper. And you'll see this technique. I'm gonna let you look for a little bit until it's finished. And remember, do not use scissors for this project. I want you to tear the paper because it gives it a really cool texture with the outer edge being um, all different and irregular. So there you go. Got a little bit of glue and paper on my fingers, but that's okay. So do you see, I've got all my paper down. I got some turquoise that outlines the ear and I made the eye out of turquoise and the nose out of turquoise. I also use turquoise to outline the back leg so you could see that. And now I'm taking a pen and giving myself some uh, details uh, on the eye and the nose. And now I'm going to actually tear a little bit of turquoise paper and make a mouth out of it. And then I'll draw a line over that. I just felt like you couldn't see the line if I just drew it. So I'm gluing down a little strip of turquoise that I tore. I want you to tear all the paper because again, it makes it really cool and um, irregular shape on the outside edges. And I think that looks really cool. All right, so once you're done, I want you to also pick up your paper and give it a shake. Make sure no pieces of paper fall off. If a piece falls off, you can simply use your glue stick to reattach it to your artwork.
All right, so I'm making an eyebrow out of turquoise, and then I'm going to sign my artwork. Um, an artist uh, usually always signs their artwork, and they do that by putting their full name or their initials with the date. So I'm going to put my name right at the end of the paw, and there you go. There is my collaged dog, number two, and you can do this with any sorts of paper that are torn up into pieces and glued down. So wasn't that fun? We learned how to draw two dogs two different ways and using uh, one with just color crayons and the other one with collage. I actually um, am an art teacher, but I also do pet portraits. Here are a couple of my portraits that I have done over the course of a couple years. And I uh, get these commissions from people and I love dogs more than probably any animal on earth. I always say our dogs are angels on earth and so I would say if you can uh, adopt, don't shop for your dog because there's so many dogs in needs of uh, great homes and you can find one at your local shelter. So thank you very much for joining me, uh, Art with Miss A. And until next time, if you can imagine it, you can make it and you can change your world. Until next time, bye everybody.